Okay, so we're starting with a new OpenGL package for Squeak, um, or Faro. I'm going to show how to use it on Faro because it's the one I've tested it on. Hopefully within a few days or a week it will be available on Squeak as well. So we go out to this website. I'll try to make sure that URL is available. And the Mac version is found here if you want to go back and look at the other versions available. You can see there's a Unix and a Mac version. So we're going to download the Mac version. And there it goes. And now we can go ahead and show it in Finder. And there we have it. Double click. All right, while well, it's waiting for refresh, there we go. We'll go back and start the next step, which is to go out and procure the latest version of um, Faro 1.4 from the website. So we start the download. There we go. Latest download. And sure enough, you can see it is now downloading 1.4. Once we have... All right. So we unzip, and we get a uh, folder that we can put things in, and now we can start. We are going to um, start the download process, which involves doing this. Open a workspace, paste this code in, go for a squeak, blah, 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 select it and do it. And now slowly hit downloads configuration of NBL, OpenGL, blah, blah. And now here's a little interesting thing that I was not aware of. When Squeak or Faro encounters a method it doesn't recognize, it is possible to continue with that method. You simply select and do things, and it says, I don't know how to do last version. It doesn't exist. Well, in fact, when the rest of the code executes, it's going to compile and create something that does know the method last version. So you just go ahead and say uh, confirm. And there'll be a slight stall and then it starts downloading and compiling that code. And once it downloads it... Alright, so our next step is to try to execute the test. We will actually do this. Here's the code. I'm doing it this way. There's a slightly simpler version. I'm doing it this way because yourself refers to the object that was created at the very beginning. So that object is going into test. The GLTT rendering demo object. So we do it. it. Says the method string without trailing blanks has been deprecated. Use trim right. Well, there's a slight bug in this thing. So what we do is we go into the debugger and find the NBFFI callout. And you notice it's using this method which is deprecated. It doesn't want to use that method anymore. So we replace it with trim right save it, give our name, this is Pharaoh, so we give our name instead of initials, that's me, and now we can proceed. And there we go. This is rendering all these nice little text strings into an OpenGL window. Notice I can resize the window while it's moving. I can move the window around while it's moving. All this is going into OpenGL. 
So it's much faster than um, the code that I've been using. So I will probably use this code in the in the future for everything I'm doing. Also, there's an option to make OpenGL the the default graphics engine for Squeak. So everything is being rendered with OpenGL from the very beginning, and I will be experimenting with that too. But you can see this is this is pretty slick. This even has the overlapping windows implemented um, directly without me having to sit there and fart around with it. So I think this is a much, much nicer impl implementation. And in the long run, um, this package is running at native speeds. It's not drawing um, using the it's drawing using the VM, the virtual machine, but it's it's uh, bypassing a lot of the uh, overhead, so things are getting called faster. And this new uh, plugin called Native Boost allows you to mix and match native machine code with Smalltalk code, so that you could create your program in Smalltalk and then start to compile more of it and more of it into machine code and that way you get the best of both worlds the interactiveness of the development environment in small talk and the speed of having the code eventually end up as native code at all levels so basically you could be doing math at the native level instead of calling small talk routines you can be doing the graphics at the native level. You can be using whatever specialized library you want. And it will always be running at full speed and being called at full speed. So that makes an um, interesting artifact there. This is a new package. So it's going to take a while for all the bugs to be taken out. But you can see it's quite slick. Um, especially for uh, early beta and it's going to make games programming and graphics programming and you know facilitate new kind of 3d 2d programming very simple because you get the full power of s the small talk development environment combined with the full native speed of OpenGL and other graphics and mathematics and so on packages so I think it's going to be a game changer.